Hi, Rascals. Welcome back. I'm Miss Shannon with Reading Rascals. Today, we will be talking about, is it a sight word or a high-frequency word? Now, parents, this is a very common question I get asked almost daily. What is the difference between a sight word and a high-frequency word? Well, let's go through it. So, Miss Shannon made my eyeball. I'm sure yours can look even better. But again, it's just a symbol to remind you that I have to see it and know it. That's why you see all these eyeballs today to remind you a true sight word is a word that you cannot phonetically hear. For example, you is a sight word because you could not phonetically say ya, ah, uh. That's considered a sight word. Why are you? You. You just know it. Now, a high frequency word, for example, like it. I can hear it, it. High frequency meaning we're going to see it in books all the time. So you can phonetically sound it out, but you're going to see it a lot. We need to know both, rascals. So today we're going to play a game with can you see it or can you hear it? So again, I made my eyeball to help. You can make one or you can use your board, rascals. I also put an eyeball for a sight word and an eyeball with a line through it, not a sight word. Let's see how we do. So if I give you a word like said, can you hear all the sounds? Now, a lot of rascals say, I can hear it, Miss Shannon. I hear it, S-E-D. That's true. If you wrote said that way, you would hear all those sounds. However, said is a sight word, and here's why. It does not follow the sounds we need. You're right. It does sound like S-E-D. Sorry, it's not. S-A-I-D, said. Making the word said a sight word. Do you hear the difference there? I know we hear it that way, but this is how it is written. Let's try another one. At. Do you think at is a sight word or a high frequency word? Meaning you see it a lot in books. Let's try it. At. At. Could you hear both of those letters? If so, that is a high frequency word. Did you hear it that way? Good job. Now let's try one. So either you're using your board. This side, I can see sight words. This side are high frequency words. Or you could go back and make your eyeball, whichever feels better to you. Remember, rascals, it's your creation, right? So if you want to make an eyeball, go make one. If not, play it with the board, your choice. Okay, let's continue. What about a word like of? Do we spell it of? If we do, that would work. However, the word of, O-F. I don't, I'm sorry. That is hard because we don't, it's not spelled U-B. It is spelled O-F, of. Now, what about a word like off? Think. Aw, off. I would consider off to be a high frequency word because I can still hear it. Even though there's a second F there, I can still hear off. Now, reminder, rascals, when you see two of the same letters, we'll only pronounce it once. So we're giving that F only one sound. I wouldn't say off, off. That wouldn't work. So off, one F sound. Of gives it the V sound and the U sound, meaning it is a cycle. I know this takes practice. So one game that I think you could do to practice would be to open up a book. So this is a cute book called Pig the Pug. I'll just open it to a random page and let's see if you can figure out which is which. But it might be more fun. 
Okay, so listen to the word but. Now, rascals, but, uh, t. Can you hear all three parts of that word? Yes. So what kind of word is it? Is it a sight word? Or is it a high frequency word? Where did you put it on your board? You're right, rascals. If you put it on the high frequency side, you're right. Let's pick apart a few more. Here's the sentence again. But it might be more fun. What about a word like it? Where would you put it? Is it a sight word? Or is it a high frequency word? It. You're right. You can hear that one also. It also a high frequency word. I can hear the sounds. Okay, one more. But it might be more fun. What about a word like be? Be my friend. Do I hear it as ba eh? Or do I hear it as be? Try. If you put the word be as a sight word, right, rascals, be, -e, be. So I hope that helped clear up a little bit of the talk between sight word, high frequency word. Do need both, and sometimes you will see a list come home that will say sight words and high frequency words. That's the difference. Hopefully that helps you figure out the difference when you're reading and see it, know it, sight words, or I just hear it all the time in a book, so I want to know those words. Am, it, those are high frequency words. Another game you might want to play is bingo. So I just took a bingo sheet and put in my own words. So I put a sight word, the, T-H-E, I can't hear it, so that's a sight word. Then I threw in some three-letter words, like, for example, big, b-i-g. That's a high-frequency word, because you'll see that word big a lot in books, but you can hear every sound. I, eyes by itself, it just says I, not it, making it a sight word. So you get the point. You can create whatever you want on your bingo. Try to throw in both. Try to put some sight words and some high frequency words and you could make a few copies and move them all around and play as a family. Just a cute idea to get you thinking what kind of words those are. Great job today rascals. If you need me you can always go to my website at readingrascals.org. Have a great day.